night? Sure. Hey, Evan, how you doing? Chris from Australia. What's up, man? I'm James. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming from Australia. All right. <laughs> um, so, I mean, you guys are very, very well versed in comedy, especially R-rated comedies as well. Yeah, what's different this type of... Ger- we have an Australian, yes. we have a young Australian person finally. That was the missing key that was always yeah, the missing to everything. Key. We had Rose Byrne, but but she was just not enough. We needed to go younger, find the new up-and-coming Australian, and now we've done that. So, yeah, it feels like we're uh, we're day. Australia's favorite. We're Australia's favorite movie makers. We have to be at this point, right? Yeah. We're just employing them all. And what, what kind of boundaries do you expect this movie to push for the audiences? Um, uh, like a lot of the things that are happening in society right now, uh, female, uh, like ownership of their sexuality and their own lives and bodies. And, uh, and it's a film that's like a lot of the films we've made about like sexuality and young people and having fun and being crazy, but it's all from the women's perspective. And fortunately it's got a female director instead of just a bunch of dudes, which took us a while to realize, but once we realized it, we knew we had to hire a woman and... Once she came on board, it kind of took off and became this thing that was actually from a woman's perspective, and that's that's kind of the core of it all. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. And having this insight, has it taught you to any lessons uh, personally? Uh, that I'm already too old to think I know what's going on. And I'm 35. I don't know what's happening. There's phrases I don't understand, there's logics I don't get, and that I should just probably listen to younger people like a bit more than I think. Um, yeah, we need to we need to constantly be looking to work with female directors because I think that like this is ultimately a movie that uh, has many sort of components of things that audiences seem to respond to, um, but finding a point of view that is unique and from a female perspective really unlocked it for us. So I think that's something that we want to continue to do. That sounds super douchey and producery, but that's true. Like we need to do more of that. I think you, more of I that. think you crushed that. Oh, thanks, man. Awesome. Thanks, guys.